Hey everybody, uh, just uh, an update here to show you a bunch of stuff that I've gotten over the past couple weeks. Uh, I did some thrifting, I had a birthday, and I also went to a yard sale. The stuff that I'll show you first is the stuff I got from the yard sale. Now I went to this place and uh, it was way far away. They had a lot of video game stuff, but I only picked up a few things. There's actually somebody else that was there that picked up a lot of stuff that I would have liked to have gotten, but they got to it first. So. The first thing I got was Ghost Line for Nintendo. It was $5, and honestly, I opened it to clean it, and it must have never been played because the inside of it looked perfect. The outside of it obviously looks perfect. So, 5 bucks. I think this is worth closer to 20 so I'm happy about that. And the last thing I got is the manual for Castlevania for the 64. It's perfect. It uh, probably has never even been looked through. Um, I own the game. The game, someone must have picked it up and bought it, so I walked up to him and said, how much you want the manual, and they just gave it to me. So, that is it for the yard sale. So, $5 for those two things for driving a really far distance. Don't know if it was worth it, but I wouldn't have known if it was worth it or not if I didn't go. So, it was worth it. Next, I will show you just a few things that my uh, mother brought for me. Uh, she went on a big, long road trip, and... Um, went to go see my sister, so I will show you the things that she got me in Colorado at a flea market out there. So, the first thing is Star Fox 64, or obviously Nintendo 64. Um, I don't know if this label is faded or if it's supposed to look like that. Maybe someone could tell me, but uh, I don't own that, so I'm happy. And then I got Hot Wheels Turbo Racing for the 64. That's that. And then last but not least, Bad News Baseball for Nintendo. Now all these item, these three items I got for free from my mom, so thanks mom. And for my birthday I got Journey Escape for the Atari. Now if you've never played this before, you need to play it because it's fun. Um, oh, this looks, looks great. And the last thing, there it is, is uh, Konami Collector's Series Arcade Advanced for Game Boy Advance. Um, this has some, uh, has Froggers, Gearus, uh, Yi, R, something or other, uh, Frogger, if I haven't said that yet. It's fun. Uh, I really like it. I play it a lot when I'm not playing Tetris. So, thank you for those. Happy birthday to me. Uh, next, I went thrifting with my mom. She was out here for the uh, past few days, so uh, I picked up some stuff there, so I'll just show you what I got. Uh, from the first savers, I got uh, Legacy of the Wizard. It's a little dirty. It was $2.50. It was originally $4.99, but it was half off because I have a savers card. Then I got um, Major League Baseball. This one was also originally $4.99, but I got it half off, so it was $2.50. Probably paid way too much for that, but oh well. Uh, and then last, I got uh, Wheel of Fortune Junior Edition, $4.99, but it was half off, so for $2.50. Some Somebody decided to engrave their name on the back of it. Thanks a lot, whoever that is. So, that was from the first savers. Now, the next savers, I was so stoked. Uh, I went looking around in the CD section, you know, where they usually have the music and stuff, and I found a whole bunch of PlayStation games, and I didn't pick up a whole lot, but I got Golden Nugget for PlayStation. It was originally $1.99, but I had a coupon for 20% off. So, uh, it was like a dollar forty or something. It's complete. It has all the discs and all that stuff. So I got that. Next, I was so excited. I've been telling myself that I'm going to find this eventually, and I did. So, Final Fantasy VII. It was a dollar ninety-nine, but I got it twenty percent off as well. So it was like a dollar forty. It is complete. As you can see, it's a little scratch down here, a little crack, but who cares? I mean, who can complain about getting Final Fantasy 7 for $1.40 with a cracked case. Now, in Final Fantasy 7, it's complete by the way, was this, Game Shark for PlayStation. Now, I've been trying to look it up online and it looks like it's supposed to come with something else, like you put in the system, not like a memory card. I don't, I don't know. So if someone could tell me if they know, that would be great if I'm missing something. I haven't actually stuck it in the system to see if it will do anything yet, so uh, we will see about that. And then the last thing I got from that other particular savers is this weird hunk of junk. It's, uh, I guess, uh, Lico 
something or other. It's a European Famicom. Uh, I have not hooked it up yet, but it has almost everything. So let me open the box and I'll show you. So, it has a European power supply. So I went out and bought one of those universal adapters and then someone said, why don't you just use a Nintendo adapter and I didn't even know if it worked. So, oh well. Um, some weird 7-in-1 cartridge. As you can see, it has like a Street Fighter picture on the front but um, doesn't have Street Fighter. So it says, Duck Hunt, Wild Gunman, Clade Shoot, Gunman, Tank, Dr. Mario, and Mario. So, we well, should see how that goes. And then some RF stuff, which I won't use unless I absolutely have to. And then the system itself. I mean, it looks exact to a Famicom, but uh, it's black and it's from Europe. Uh, it's got the attached controllers on either side. So, no microphone like the other ones had, but oh well. So, there you have it. Uh, I didn't know what to think, so I just bought it. It says $6.99 on the box, but I got it 20% off. So it was actually only like, I don't even know. It was some price. So, when I get this hooked up, I will do some recordings of it so you all can see what it looks like. Now, last but not least, this is uh, not vintage at all, but I thought I'd show it to you anyways. I bought myself a new controller. It's pink. It has the uh, the uh, Motion Plus thing built into it. So I got that because I had my mom out and I only had one controller, so I figured I should probably buy another one. And then I bought You Don't Know Jack for the Wii. Now, uh, if you have not played this, I suggest it because it's pretty funny. Um, it just... It has questions in it, and the way they just ask the questions is, is crazy, and it's rated T for teen because there's all sorts of inappropriate stuff in it, but uh, I recommend trying it out. It's fun. Um, when I was younger, we actually had it for the PC, and my brother and I used to play it all the time, so when I saw it for the Wii, I was like, I have to buy it. My mom's out here. We have to play it together, so we had a lot of fun. Anyways, that is all my stuff. Um, it's a lot of stuff, and I just have to say that this is my favorite. I mean, I knew that I was going to come across it someday, and I couldn't believe it, and then I couldn't believe that it was only $1.99, and then I had a 20% off coupon. I mean, who could complain? I've never played this game before, so it should be fun. Anyways, that is everything I have. I hope you all have a great weekend, or end of the weekend, and I will see you all again soon. Bye!